Good morning, welcome to today or this week's vlog. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, but it is Sunday morning, so I have to leave for church in about 15 minutes. It's currently about 7.30, and I have to be at church at 8.15 because I'm singing with the praise band this morning. So in my 15 minute interim between me getting ready and me actually leaving, I'm going to very quickly write down my voice parts for today's set list so our praise band uses an app called planning center where we have the structure of each song down to the harmony that's used for each verse and chorus so usually when i'm singing harmony which is what i'm doing today i write down out on verse one in on chorus two and things like that for each song and then i just have it laying at my mic which i'll show you later to make it easier to sing and to remember what i'm supposed to be doing so very quickly i'm going to do that and then we're gonna head to church i thought about making myself a coffee this morning but miss pam a lady at our church makes the best coffee and has like a little coffee bar set up with all these fun little creamers and different types of coffee let's go ahead and get into the vlog the grocery store and say my Dylan which is kind of hard but we'll see each other again in a month hopefully for the 4th of July so that'll be good but I figured I needed a little bit of a distraction so I went to the store for grapes and fruit roll-ups and also coffee for the morning because I have no coffee and I figured I could try this viral snack that I saw on TikTok where you wrap some grapes in these little fruit roll-up things and then you freeze them and they're supposed to be really good. So I figured I could try that. I think that I'm gonna have to cut up one of these rolls because these grapes are kind of small. So we'll see how that works. Okay, let's see here. Folding up the grape like so. Put it back in the bowl. I hope that this is good. I think it's gonna be a unique texture type of situation. Okay, they're all wrapped, and now I'm gonna stick them in the freezer and we'll check them after dinner. Okay. <laughs> so, I just had a good cry about a lot of things because a lot of stuff is going on right now. I was thinking about how the other day my mom asked me what the mission statement of my YouTube channel is, and I told her that it was a way for me to make sort of like home videos for myself to watch later to kind of remind myself how life is, my day-to-day -day life is because I think that this is a very unique season being a not yet fully independent young adult in college I think that's very unique and it's something that maybe I'll be able to show my kids someday which is why I'm showing me post solid cry I literally sat in my bed and just cried and pet my pet my dog for a while. But the reason I'm telling you all that, or myself in the future that is, today was great. Today was a really good day. And yet I have a moment like this where I just needed to cry and that's okay. And that's also part of the season. And so this little snippet that I'm gonna put in this vlog is just for me but also for anyone who might be watching that needs to know that life is ups and downs constant ups and downs and you can't dwell in the downs or dwell in the ups and you can't really anticipate them either you just gotta ride the wave <laughs> that sounds like a t-shirt but 
that was just my thought. I hope that's encouraging to someone or to me in the future. So, okay, I accidentally forgot about dinner and it's eight o'clock. I've been editing the Dollywood vlog for like an hour now and I'm hungry. So I think I might try of the frozen grapes because that sounds really good. It's time to try them. Oh, they're stuck. It's so hard. I hope I'm gonna be able to like bite into it. Let's see. Oh my gosh. That's so good. I'm genuinely surprised because I've tried the frozen grapes with the Kool-Aid powder on it and it was not my favorite, but this is so good. 10 out of 10, will we make it more? Monday and it is beautiful today. I looked on the weather this morning because I'm lifeguarding today and it said cloudy all day but there's not a cloud in sight right now and it feels perfect. So right now I'm editing a little bit more of the Dollywood vlog because I really would love to have it up by today or tomorrow ish and it's been so fun editing it like re-watching all the clips just makes me so happy it reminds me how good of a trip it was and now i have all of them saved in this vlog and it just it's really fun so i'm doing that i made myself some cold brew i think i put a little bit too much creamer in it because i'm i tried a new one it's still really good it's still coffee i work 11 30 to 5 today so i'm gonna have to get ready for that soon ish but i have a little bit of time to just relax hopefully today will be a good day yesterday was a roller coaster so yeah i'm praying for a good week for everyone who is watching and i hope that this vlog encourages you to do the things that you want to do to make time for it because i was real tempted to sleep in this morning but I thought about what I really wanted to do and it's not sleeping in and wasting away half my day in bed because I very well could have stayed in bed until I left for work but I decided to get up and get a little bit of work done make myself a good coffee because I'm definitely a morning person I'll take you all along for the rest of my day Bye. okay I'm currently packing up my lunch for work. I made this ham and cheese sandwich and I packed up some of my grapes from last night and a protein chewy bar in case I need a snack. My pride and joy talkies um, if I need a pick me up. <laughs> I live off of these things when I lifeguard. These liquid IV things save me. This is the strawberry and this is my favorite flavor, which is the pina colada. So I'm just gonna put that in the side pocket here. And I'm gonna put this with my other bag and I'm taking my coffee to go because I did not finish it this morning. Also, I'm obsessed with this hat. I got it on vacation at the Old Smoky Moonshine place and I just feel very cute wearing it. I got this free people top. It's long sleeves, but it's very thin material. And I've got my sunnies. My cute hat, blue jean shorts, love these, and my little cheap Target Birkenstocks. I'll show you all what's in my lifeguard bag in case you're curious, which I know you are. First of all, here's the bag. I love her. I got her from Amazon. In this little front pocket here, I just have a claw clip, some Advil in case I get a headache, my Aquaphor. This is SPF 30 actually, so this stuff is great. And then in the big pocket, I just have my um, tanning lotion, which is for SPF. 
and then my 50 SPF actual sunscreen. And then I have this book, which I'm currently reading, Wild Love. It's very good. I will say I'm not super big into like purely romance books. I like subplots of romance in mysteries and literary fictions and things like that. But I heard really good things about this book. Portable charger and of course a beach towel. That's everything I'm bringing. I gotta leave here in a few minutes. The great thing about work is it's real close, so I never feel like I'm in a rush, which is super nice. I'll show you all what I can of my lifeguard day. Oh, also, I am wearing my swimsuit. I know I showed my outfit, and some of you may be thinking, where's your actual lifeguard uniform? And she's on, I promise. I almost forgot to get a water bottle, which was real dumb, so I'm bringing my giant 60 or so ounce water bottle. <laughs> just got back from work and I ended up not feeling great by the end of work. I'm having a little bit of some tummy issues. And so my one and only plan for tonight is to make a coveted family recipe that my mom has made for us kids for as long as I can remember it whenever any of us get a tummy ache. And so I thought that I would show you all how to make this drink. It's called Good Girl Moonshine. And I don't think my mom came up with that name, but it's basically a tea drink with apple cider vinegar and ginger. First of all, I need about a cup of hot water and I'm gonna use this peach and probiotic tea, which probiotic sounds like exactly what I need right now. And peach is my favorite flavor to use for this drink. It's usually best with a fruity tea. So I'm just gonna put a little tea packet in the water and let it sit and soak in. And then in this glass, which I'm using a fancy cocktail glass from Captain Anderson's in Panama City Beach because I used the last of our big mason jars this morning for my coffee. I'm going to take this apple cider and eyeball pour it into this cup about how much I think I need. I usually like a lot. I think that's probably good for me. I'm gonna take my ginger, put that in, also eyeballing it. I like a little bit less ginger, but it's still really good for me. So I still put, not a lot, but enough. And then the secret ingredient is this better stevia. It's like an organic alternative for a sweetener. I'm gonna put five of these mini scoops. You can see how small into the drink. I don't know why five is the magic number. I think this is also an eyeball thing, but mom always taught us that it was five of these tiny little scoops. So now I'm gonna mix up all those good healthy things in the drink glass. Okay, it's been a minute, so I think she's ready to be poured. <laughs> oh, that's gonna end up being the perfect amount. Now I just mix her up and add ice and I've got a fun <laughs> mocktail that's good for your gut health. So win, win, win. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. It tastes good too. That's the thing. If you are having some tummy issues, you must try. Just believe me. It's so good. So now I think I'm just going to drink this and hopefully maybe get out the dollar vlog by today. Do you hear my dogs? Do you hear how crazy they're being? That's how it is 24 seven here. They're always doing that. Anyway, I'm just gonna relax, watch TV, try and get that vlog out if I can. Thanks for watching my little drink tutorial.